Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Ryan or Ismall TV and in today's Destiny video, I'm going to be covering some update notes that were released by Bungie this week. Now, if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up and comment your opinion in the uh, comment section below. And if you're on RSP, be sure to look forward to more of these type of videos, including Destiny glitches, tips and tricks and news topics. So let's get straight into it. So as we can see here via the first screenshot here and sneak peek from Bungie from this week, we can see that a House of Wolves is the actual quest that's being done here. The story of the Awoken and their campaign against the House of Wolves. Now we're doing a quest in the House of Wolves and we can see that the last step is the Silent Fang. Now he's completed all the other steps and uh, this is as you can see by the uh, you know look of it. This is actually from the quests screen in your pause menu. Now this will be amazing to use and I'm guessing everybody including myself is going to love this feature. So let's get straight into the next one. Okay, so as we can see here, these are the notes that we were given this week on the weekly update from Bungie. So as we can see, Bungie will be increasing the number of bounties players can carry. Now this is going to be a huge increase for all the new players on Destiny and for everybody that's trying to level up at the moment. As you can see I am light level 21 and doing more bounties will help me level up my armor and upgrade my light which will lead to getting more light and leveling up my character. So that's going to be amazing. Both quests and bounty slots will be tracked in the HUD and completed bounties will be turned in from the quest screen. Now this means you don't have to go back to the tower to turn in your bounty so that's going to be freaking amazing. Reputations will be moved from inventory to the quest page. Now personally, I don't mind if that's going to be done or not, but I like the way it is right now. So the 2.0 update includes a number of improvements for all Destiny players, and in the coming weeks, DJ and the members of Bungie uh, will continue to share them with you. So it looks like they will be giving us some more sneak peeks in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that, and we'll see in next week's update video and the week after. So let's get straight into the next one. Okay, as we can see in this photo, these are the bounties in your progress or quest screen as you can see. Now this is going to be added to your pause menu as you can see normally you only see roster, character, inventory and settings. And this time they're showing us that there is going to be a progress tab. And uh, basically with a progress tab, this is going to make it a lot easier to turn in bounties and have a look at the actual bounties. Now a huge clue here is if you look at your bounties, they've increased them from 8 to 16. If you have a look it says 7 out of 16 and quest page 1 over 1 is 6 over 32. As far as I know with the quests, they have been increased by a certain amount which I don't know at the moment. But I'll get some more information on that in the next video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want more of these types of videos, leave a comment in the so uh, comment section below and like the video. If you don't like it, then leave a dislike so I know how many people like these types of videos and want more. And, uh, you know, Destiny tips and tricks, glitches, news, all that kind of stuff, where to find Zer, uh, all those kind of stuff I will be covering and all the greatest farming topics and uh, exploits as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. And if you liked it, then comment subscribe to my channel. Or if you're viewing this on my channel, then subscribe to my channel if you like the content. I'm out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.